Today, we will answer a geometry challenge. And here's the question. Given this line, let's draw three congruent circles. And here's their point of tangency. Let's call this point A, point B, and point C. Now, the distance from A to B is 3, and the distance from B to C is also 3. Now, let's call this point B equal to P, and let's draw some segments like this, wherein those segments are tangent to our circle. Now, this segment measures 5 units. This segment, the larger segment, measures square root of 91 units. And this segment right over here in the middle measures x units. Now, the question is, what is the exact value of this segment, x? Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question. Because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. Alright, so given this figure, the goal is to find the exact value of this segment, x. Now, to answer this kind of question is, of course, to use the given information. So first, we have here the circle. So let's get the centers of these circles. Now, let's call this first circle as circle Q. The second is circle R. And the third is circle S. Now, from here, let's focus on this circle Q. So from this Q, let's connect Q to point P like this. And let's draw a radius to this point of tangency and we know this is a right angle so we have a right triangle now suppose the radius of these three congruent circles be equal to r so we can use Pythagorean theorem that relates pq the radius and this segment equivalent to 5 so this becomes pq squared equals r squared plus 5 squared which is this distance and 5 squared simply equal to 25 for sure. So we have now one equation consisting of this PQ, the radius of this circle, and this segment, this given segment, which is 5 units. Now, let's focus on this circle R. We will do the same thing. So we have here a right triangle with the side length X, PR, and X. So using Pythagorean theorem, we have PR squared equals R squared plus X squared. Next, we will do the same thing to this circle S. We have here a right triangle with the side R, square root of 91, and the hypotenuse PS. So PS squared equals R squared plus square root of 91 squared. And if we simplify square root of 91 squared, we have 91. We have now the third equation that relates PS, R, and square root of 91. Now, at this point, we now have three equations and one, two, three, four, five unknowns. So, to answer this question, of course, we want to relate PQ, PR, and PS to eliminate some unknowns here. So, to do that, what we're going to do is to use these three circles. So, let's connect Q, R, and S. Those are collinear, for sure. And the length of QS simply equal to 6 units. Now, I see a triangle. So let's connect Q to P and S to P, like this. So we have a triangle, P, Q, S. And since R is the midpoint of QS, we can connect this R to P. And this segment PR is called the median of this triangle P, Q, S. And we have a formula for the median of a triangle. So this is the length of the median of a triangle. So given this figure, so we get that the length of the median is equivalent to 1 half multiplied by the square root of 2B squared plus 2C squared minus A squared. So referring to this formula and our figure, we can get a formula that relates P, Q, P, R, and P, S respectively. So this is just PR, or the median of this triangle PQS, is equivalent to 1 half times the square root of 2 times PS squared plus 2 times PQ squared minus we have here the length of BC, or in our figure, we have the length of QS, which is equal to 6. And 6 squared simply equal to 36. 
So this is the length of segment PR or the median of our triangle PQS. And this equation relates PR, PS, and PQ. So now let's focus on these four equations and let's see if we can find the value of so first, let's simplify this equation. Let's multiply both sides by 2. Now let's square on both sides. So 4p squared equals 2ps squared plus 2pq squared minus 36. And now divide all of this term by 2. And now what we're going to do is to focus on this. Now at this point, let's replace pr squared because pr squared is equivalent to r squared plus x squared. PS squared is equivalent to R squared plus 91. PQ squared is equivalent to R squared plus 25. So let's replace all of those values. Now let's simplify. 2 times R squared plus X squared, we have 2R squared plus 2X squared. Combining like terms, we have here 2R squared plus 98. And as you can see, we can now eliminate 2R squared. This is just 0. So we have 2X squared equals 98. Now, let's focus on this result. Divide both sides by 2. We get x squared equals 49. And get the square root on both sides since x is a side length. So we take the positive value for x. So x is just positive 7. Therefore, given this figure and these four equations, we get that the value of x or the length of this segment x simply equal to positive 7. Therefore, given this figure, then we get that x is equivalent to 7 units. And as always, we are done.